Hello and welcome to my Saturday. I am getting ready to go out and meeting up with some friends today. Mm, this is slightly shameful but I think we should just take a moment to see how much laundry I have to put away. It's all piled up on the bed at the moment. The worst thing about it is there's actually a little bit of a, yeah, there's an overspill pile on the floor. Of course our meeting, oh that's close. Our meetup is outside of course because it's the pandemic so I'm just going to put a bit of sunblock on my face. This is a proper face one. I only got it because it was reduced to clear analysis the other day. I would never go to such extravagant lengths usually. But I tell you what, the one I bought from Wilco, which is a Factor 50 waterproof one. I don't think it's focusing. I'll just stand back with it. Um, anyway, that was three quid. But I tell you what, it's very thick and white and gloopy. And it was bringing me out in spots all over my face. That was just a bit embarrassing at my age. Anyway, I'm going to carry on getting ready now. I've got pasties cooking in the oven because I'm not going to go to Greg's. I'm going to save a bit of money and just cooking up the pasties that I got yesterday in Iceland. So I'll put those in little bags to take with us. And that'll be our picnic. Yeah. Oh, and I've got a new toy. Um, I'll show you that later. I don't think you'd be very interested in it. It's one of those toys that makes me very excited, but nobody else. Apart from one of my viewers who will be leaning up forward in his seat. Very interested indeed to see what it is. <laughs> We're going out in about 20 or 30 minutes. They've got, oh, they've got another 10 or 20 minutes left, I think. I've set a timer on my phone. I'm being lazy today. This needs unloading. Actually, it's a bit wet still. I always do the 30 minute wash, which doesn't dry because it usually just dries by the time I need to get them out anyway. Mm, they're not quite dry. Maybe I'll do that a bit later. It's not urgent. I keep thinking I should make an update video about that dishwasher because the one I did do about the dishwasher when I first got it is doing really well. It gets views every day still. So I feel like those people might be interested to know if I thought it was worth it or not. So I might put a quick one of those out, like just a couple of minutes of me talking <laughs> for the benefit of those people. I've just put the kettle on for another cup of tea. I'm determined to squeeze one in before I leave the house. I have already, confession time, had two coffees today, <laughs> but it is the afternoon, so, but I can't justify having a third, as nice as that would be. But speaking of coffee, I might do my usual trick and take a thermos flask full of boiled water or boiling water and some sachets of instant. Oh, I've only got one left. I forgot to buy more. Oh no, I think somebody might be at the door. Hang on. All sorted. It was next door. I had a parcel for them. Right, where was I going with that? I've only got one sachet. Hmm. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll take tea bags and a little bit of milk. I've got a special milk bottle that I got from Ikea actually. Ah, where is it? It's not in its usual place. I'll find it and show you. Found it. There we are. It's a very sort of milk bottle looking bottle, plastic thing. I decided to quickly check these pasties even though the time hasn't gone off and I would say they are definitely done. So I'm going to get those out now so they can start cooling down a bit before they go in the bag. All packed and ready to go with a minute to spare to just show you these. You know I bought these leggings for Izzy in Cardiff the other day. Well, you will if you saw the vlog. Well, they're too small. <laughs> I've got to take them back. I cannot fathom the sizing at all, honestly. She is very petite. You know, she's 16. She's not fully grown by any means. And the small, I think it was might be extra small. I don't know, but they are tight like leggings on her in places. Extra small. There we are. That was just, I don't even know what size that is then. <laughs> Does mean I have another excuse to go into Cardiff though at some point. We've arrived at our destination first, so I'm gonna tuck into my pasty. It's still hot in the foil actually. I've got a can of Coke Zero as well. And the uh, sky's looking a bit like that. We're not sure if it's gonna rain or not, so we found some shelter to sit under. It's about half past five in the evening now. I've been back a about an hour but I've been getting tonight's vlog up so that's what I've been doing since I got in. I put a pizza in the oven, this one that I got from Iceland yesterday and I'm about to make a salad to go with it. This is what's going to be in it, an avocado, half a pepper because look it's frozen in my fridge very annoyingly. Um, what's left of this? Cucumber, some little gem lettuce, one spring onion for flavour and some stuffed green olives. Here's dinner then, a very, very simple salad. And the dressing is just olive oil and salt, and that's all, freshly ground, you know, salt. And there's our pizza. There it is, served up on the plate. I thought that was worth a shot. Looks rather nice. 
<laughs> well that was actually quite nice we enjoyed that I fancy having a nice lie now. And I tried one of those sherbet dib dab, dib dab, dip dab, whatever they're called, one of those yesterday. And we did get in a bit of a mess, but they were lovely. But now I'm gonna try a cola bottle one. Isabel said they're a bit hard, but I don't see how that's a problem because they will melt. <laughs> I'm gonna watch a bit of a vlog for a bit and enjoy that and then I won't film it but I'm going to practice my flute for an hour and I need to be in position by eight. Eight is my sort of cut off that I give myself for the neighbours so you know they don't get the sound of flute wafting around their house in the evening when they're trying to relax. I do practice in the cellar anyway so probably they can't hear it anyway but just to be on the safe side that's when I stop. It's now half past six I'm making coffee it's mostly decaf to be honest I am so not in the mood to practice my flute I'm tired it's quite a physical thing to get started doing you know anyway I'm gonna do it anyway I'm gonna be good because I really let it go the last couple of weeks I was just intent on getting those sort of special videos out and they took a lot longer to edit than usual so I was just kind of focusing on that but really need to get back on top of the flute just in case a gig comes in you never know stranger things have happened rumor has it we might have a pub gig at some point in the fresh air so Fingers crossed, it'll be the first one in 14 months if it happens. I'm gonna play race the coffee pot and see how many of these I can put away, because they are now dry, because I just left them to dry, air dry, you know. Uh, yeah, let's see. Well, some minutes later, I think the coffee pot won. Good news is I have a nice mug of coffee to take down to the cellar. Um, bad news is this didn't clean everything perfectly well. A lot of that's dirty, gone in anyway, but some of it's gone back in for a second go. Um, maybe the 30 minute wasn't so successful, but some things had slumped through the holes and I think maybe this got like obstructed and maybe wasn't spinning. So I think that might be why some of it wasn't quite as clean as usual. Right, wish me luck. I'm gonna go and do a very strenuous at least 45 minutes in the cellar on my flute even though I'm tired and just want to sit down and edit the vlog. I am officially too tired to practice. I did 35 minutes but my eyes were shutting and in between all the tunes I was yawning and do you know what when you play in a room with other people you get this thing called adrenaline and you don't get it when you're on your own as much like it's quite hard you have to muster it out of your imagination or sometimes I can get it from playing along with recordings I kind of pick up on the you know the feel <laughs> oh gosh at the end of a long day not a good time to practice anyway I have a job to do now this is my editing station here now have a look at the difference in the color between these two monsters this is my trusty laptop that goes everywhere with me in my bag and if I'm editing on the go I'll be doing it on this one if I'm at home, I'll use this one. But look at the colour difference, right? So this is me in my editing software. Now follow me over to the other screen. Look at that difference. Do you see? So I basically don't trust my own eye when I'm colouring my footage or colour correcting my footage. So I'm using graphs, basically. These things here. <laughs> And I'm sure it's a very good skill to learn and I have enjoyed learning it, but it's very time consuming. I just want to do it with my own human eye. So this is why I have got <laughs> this thing, which is going to go on my monitor screen, like literally with its eye on it up against the screen. It's going to analyse it and correct it, apparently. Fingers crossed. And I can do both of them and make sure that they are the same as each other. Uh, no idea how to do it, slightly scared of it. I think I'm going to get a bit overwhelmed by it and stuck and it's going to end up being like one of those cans of worms that you start and then six hours later you still haven't managed to do it. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to do next. <laughs> but I won't vlog about it because probably it's not going to be very interesting. But anyway, if you have enjoyed this vlog, do give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel to grow. I really appreciate it. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of my story, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!